In this video, we'll be looking at the differences between this Xped Mega Mat Duo 10, which is a medium double size, and this REI Camp Dreamer double. For the Xped, I got a Mega Mat inside a stuff sack, a mini pump, some instructions, and a repair kit. For the REI, I got only the Dreamer double inside a carry bag and a pump with no repair kit. The REI Camp Dreamer Double gets me about 3 and 3 quarter inches off the ground, while the Xped Mega Mat Duo 10 gets me 4 inches off the ground. But with either mattress, my body does not touch the ground whether I'm sleeping on my back, stomach, or side. The REI Dreamer Double is much bigger and measures about 81 by 54 inches, while the Mega Mat Medium Double measures about 73 and a half by 42 and a half inches. If you buy the Xped Mega Mat Long White Double though, it'll measure about 78 by 52 inches, which is still smaller than the REI Dreamer Double. I really like the sizing of the Medium Double, because it's just the size of two regular sleeping pads put together, it fits nicely into all two-person tents, and you can fit two Mega Mats in a four-person tent, and so on. On the other hand, I couldn't fit two Dreamer Doubles into this Coleman four-person dome tent. I found both the X-Bed and REI very comfortable when I was sleeping on both, complete with vertical sidewalls and minimal bouncing for both, but if I have to pick one, I'm gonna say that the X-Bed Mega Mat is slightly more comfortable than the REI Dreamer. The sleeping surface of the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 is flatter and it feels plusher and softer. The sleeping surface of the REI Dreamer Double is slightly less flat and it feels slightly less plush and less soft, but this is just my opinion. Inflating both the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 and the REI Camp Dreamer Double took about 10 minutes for the self-inflation and about 1 minute of pumping after. Both the X-Bed and REI self-inflate quite quickly. The X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 comes with an attached toggle that you can push into the inflation valve for a faster inflation. The REI Dreamer Double has two valves that can be flipped to the inflation side and both valves will let air in. But when it comes to the pumping to top the mattresses off, the Xbed Mega Mat Duo 10 is slightly faster. I feel that the pump of the Xbed takes in air much more quickly than the REI Dreamer Double. Each pump of the Xbed takes only 1 second, while each pump of the REI takes about 3 to 4 seconds. Topping the Xbed off takes closer to 30 seconds, while topping the REI off takes closer to a minute. Also, I found it easier to attach the mini pump to the inflate valve of the X-Bed than it was to attach the REI pump to one of its valves. Because the X-Bed Mega Man Medium Double is quite a bit smaller, it takes me only about 2 minutes and 45 seconds for me to deflate the X-Bed on my own and pack it back into the stuff sack. As for the REI Dreamer Double, it takes me closer to 5 minutes to do so. After deflating, the smallest packed size that I could get the REI Cat Dreamer Double down to is about 29 by 15 by 12 inches. While the Xbet Mega Mat Duo Medium has a packed size of about 23 by 11 by 10 inches, which is about slightly less than half the size of the REI Dreamer Double. The REI Dreamer Double weighs 11.6 pounds for just the mattress alone, while the X-Bed Mega Mat Medium Double weighs 7.2 pounds, which is about 38% less. I find it surprising that the X-Bed Mega Mat Medium Double has only 29% less sleeping surface than the REI, 38% less weight, and yet it compacts down to more than 50% smaller than the size of the REI Dreamer Double. In terms of portability, the X-Bed has the REI Beat. The X-Bed Mini Pump weighs 1.6 ounces, while the REI Pump weighs 11.8 ounces. The X-Bed Stuff Sack weighs 5.3 ounces, while the REI Carry Bag weighs 11.5 ounces. The X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 is slightly more insulated with an R value of 8.1, while the REI Dreamer Double is slightly less insulated with an R value of 6.5. I did not use any of these in the off-season, but I used both in summer temperatures between 60 to 80 and never felt too hot even in higher temperatures. The top of the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 is made of 50D nylon with a polyester laminate, while the bottom is made of 75D polyester for added durability. The seams are welded and feel high quality. The REI Dreamer Double is made of polyester with similar welded seams. 
for material quality, I think I'm going to have to go with the X-Bed Mega Mat because my REI Dreamer Double actually came with two small holes in the mattress, which is a manufacturing defect. So that was a little disappointing. Also, I used the X-Bed more frequently and mistreated it more, and it's still holding up great. I also prefer the valves on the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10, which are low profile flat valves with separate valves for inflation and deflation, and the deflation valve is also slightly larger for a quicker deflation. The high flow TPR valves of the REI Dreamer Double aren't too shabby either, but it's a little higher maintenance. To ensure that it doesn't leak, I usually have to make sure to align the valves properly and also to tighten the screw on caps on the valves. The stuff sack that came with the Expert Mega Mat Duo 10 feels slightly softer, smoother, and overall higher quality than the carry bag of the REI Dreamer Double, although I do really like both of them and they also come with shoulder straps for easy carry. At full price, the REI Dreamer Double costs about 15% less than the Expert Medium Double and about 27% less than the Expert Long White Double. I personally got my REI Dreamer Double at 30% off during one of REI's sales, so it actually cost me even less. In terms of price, the REI beats the x -Bed hands down. Overall, I think that the x -Bed Mega Man Duo 10 is the better sleeping pad because it beats the REI Dreamer Double in many aspects like comfort, inflation, deflation, portability, insulation, and quality. But the REI Dreamer Double beats the x -Bed in terms of sleeping surface and dimensions and especially in price. I bought the REI Dreamer Double when it was on sale and I paid more than 100 bucks less for the REI than I did for the XBED Medium Double. Compared to the XBED Medium Double, the REI Dreamer Double is a whopping 8 inches longer and 12 inches wider. I really enjoyed both mats. The XBED Mega Mat Duo 10 is really of superb quality while I found the REI Dreamer Double to be really inexpensive. I think that the REI is easily one of, if not the least expensive, big name self-inflating mattresses for the size and it offers fantastic value when it goes on sale. The bottom line is, if you don't have a super large budget for a high-end self-inflating sleeping pad like the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10, wait for the REI Dreamer Double to go on sale, which happens a few times a year, and then pick it up. If you need more info on either the X-Bed Mega Mat Duo 10 or the REI Camp Dreamer Double, these two videos here go into much more depth. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.